Star Trek, which is very relevant to today's form of government in the United States, had a um, an episode that had a, a fake person sitting in front of a, a, a television camera controlling society. And um, I have no idea how deep the the uh, showman ripoff system in Pittsburgh and Seattle goes. I have no idea. It's clearly hotwired hot into C Seattle Art Museum and sound mental health. They covered for it. The reason is, is that well, one of Evan Nauer's friends came up to me and said he didn't want to get into anything with me because I'll turn it into a whole big thing. Well, that's the point is that they kept me as this dummy in the glass and didn't tell me anything about what's going on because they were engineering a whole big thing. And anybody who doubts that uh, can look at the space rovers in NASA Robotics at Carnegie Mellon University demonstration of um, teleportation instruments with the help of Stanford and advanced materials and devices like he said Paul Ronco who came up with the neuroplasm at the gate of hell of Leslie's virginity concept for the parochial savage many of whom sit like Clarence Thomas black and Pittsburgh Catholic elders robes Pittsburgh is like that so when you get these open mic bullies who say they, they boiled the argument down to one thing, the man in the street wants to stick you with a needle and he's going to demand your money for it. And the, they're a satire of the whole plan. That's what Yoko Ono wanted to do and what Yoko Ono wants Yoko Ono gets. She has Jay Powell kneeling and scraping to the Israelis. She has Aaron Dixon strong arming for Hitler Reagan. She has Angela Dickinson coming to the rescue of Bush's favorite bot, boy Obama with Oprah Winfrey. It's a lie. They have no scruples about any kind of concept of saving the social fabric. None. They, they, you know, they actually said one size fits all rather than save lives. And who cares if it spreads, right? We'll black out information intended to save lives because we have a higher order of intelligence in our spinner beanies. That's what they really did. You had the poisoning me in the mouth before COVID and so forth. It's, it, it's ridiculous and, and sinister. And it's an open mic bully system that's crying with hatred for anything that's sane. They've threatened. <laughs> Seattle thinks it's really neat. Tacoma Community College thinks they're far out. You know, ashing it for the green, saying we'll blow up our own children if you don't know to what Simon says, Bill Gates had this little circuit going in Pittsburgh called a circle of friends. And that means surround queer ball with faith laws so he doesn't know what's going on. And they deafen me, right? And they get me mixed up with um, garage rock things that happen. So they have a, a roster of... Um, and it didn't happen that way, and our telling our version is just as good as his eh. Ringo Starr's um, showdown with uh, the right to breathe air, the right to circulate news, the right to walk to the store unmolested. I mean, they put they, they showcase social media. You know the things that go on if you go to Safeway Queer Mall. I mean, it's a lot. I mean, they're, they're a satire of, of the human race. And they've networked it into the Spinner Beanie Consortium that really thinks that they're hot stuff because they can take somebody who they torture and scare them. Isn't that neat? 
you can take, I, I touched a girl just by, with a drumstick to get her attention. Just t- touched her, look. And she was, oh, because she had PTSD. Can you, I don't know with her circumstances, I made sure that she knew that I wouldn't do that anymore. I'm down from just trying to get attention, figured if I touched her, it would be worse. These people have been told and shown that the queer ball, as they like to call me, has been tortured since childhood. And they come in, call me right, call me right, ha ha, cackling, call me right, ha ha. And they aim ferociously with all of their psychiatric talents uh, to gaslight and cause trauma in a 62-year-old man who they poisoned in the heart. He now has Parkinson's. That's how, that's what these so-called friends were setting up to do all along. When they circled me in a merry-go-round situation, we've got queer ball right where we want him. We've got queer ball right where we want him. How can they claim that anything else is different? So they don't. They don't claim that I'm wrong. They just say, you can't do nothing about it, queer ball. You can't do nothing about it. 